This is why you fighting right here. Listen, kid. There's going to be time in your life where people are going to try to rain on your parade. They're going to try to tell you what you can and what you can't do. But this is why you're fighting. You fight for them. You fight for all them nights you watch your mother sit on the edge of that bed and cry almost every night. Well, you and your brother, they couldn't do anything and it hurt you, you remember? Listen, I don't want you to ever forget why you're doing what you're doing. You gotta understand, there's so much greatness that lives inside of you and if you just get through this and continue to fight, there's greatness on the other side. And I understand that you may be in the dark today, but doesn't the beautiful roses of the field begin in the dark? What you gonna do? You gonna give up or you gonna keep going? What is it that stands behind that passion, purpose, desire that has you waking up every single day to go get what's yours? Because my faith is bigger than the size of a mustard seed. And whatever it is that stands behind that passion, purpose, and desire that has you waking up every single day. What is it? What is it that gives you unwavering conviction to go get what's yours? To do what you want to do? Because there was a point in my time in my life where I didn't have a faith in myself, where I didn't believe in myself. And I began to pick myself up dust myself off so and I ask the question what is it that continues to drive you push you to continue to get up every single day after you've been knocked down you've been here before is it your daughter at home is it your mama because as I reminisce and watch my mama sit on the edge of that bed and cry every single night are you back yet? Because whatever it is that does stand behind that passion, purpose, and desire that picks you up every single day, it better be strong again. I'm talking you will be knocked down. A storm is coming. You will be exposed to the elements. A tornado is coming. It's the faith that stands behind that purpose, passion, desire that got you getting up every single day after you've been knocked down today, yesterday. You may be knocked down tomorrow. And nothing going to change if nothing changed. So you have to take action. And when I say take action, you have to self-assess and say it is you versus you. When you can look in a mirror and you can say to yourself, I didn't study, I woke up late. When you can say it's me versus me, when you can get very comfortable being very uncomfortable, you begin to grow. You begin to grow and you don't go to pointing fingers at nobody. Man, I remember I was stripped of everything I owned from apartments to cars, Everything I came in contact with, I mean, I was stripped of. But all through, through them storms, them trials and them tribulations, I began to soar like an eagle. See, the eagle is one of the only birds that when a storm is coming, he doesn't fly away, but he flies into the storm. And he uses the pressures of the storm to soar. We're using very little energy to soar above the storm to, to rise to an atmosphere of peace and security. Don't you want to soar? How would you use the storm to rise, to elevate, 
how would you use a storm to soar above everybody that told you you couldn't do what you're doing? And what drives you? Because it don't matter how hard you go when you're on a journey to go get what's yours, you will be knocked down. And I hope it's the faith that gives you the unwavering conviction, the courage, the dedication, what you sacrificing. Because being physically committed to the process without being emotionally attached to the outcomes is flying into the storm. And asking yourself, what can I extract from this storm to soar, to rise? to an atmosphere of peace and security. What do you do when people tell you you can't do it? Are the people who are attacking you adding purpose and value to your life? Are you caring too much? Studies show 30% of caregivers die before the person they're caring for, man. Are you caring too much? You putting your expectations on them and they not meeting your expectations. It's just gonna kill you. 30% of caregivers die before those they caring for. You understand? So what I want you to do is self-assess. What are you scared of about what people going to think? We all make mistakes and your identity does not lie in the mistakes you make. It is not the burdens of life that weighs us down, but it's how we handle them. And when adding value to anything, doesn't it come with mistakes anyway? It's a part of the process. And you got to keep the faith and the hope alive. Because like I said, when you lose the faith and the hope, that's when you quit. And people only quit when they get deep and deep into pain and they can't take it anymore. You didn't come this far just to come this far. Have you picked yourself back up yet? I know you've been knocked down. I know time has been tough. I know it's been a rough year. But kid, listen. There's going to be times that people are going to talk about you. They're going to judge you. They're going to slander your name. And yeah, it may not be true, but you got to understand that through the football games, through the pain, through the pressure, through everything you go through, you must continue to believe in yourself. Do it for your mother. Do it for your father. Because there are going to be times where nobody believes in you, kid. And you got to understand, I've been through so much pain in my life growing up in the projects. Kid, I wasn't even raised with my father. When you talk about keeping the hope alive, you have to dig real deep. And taking it back, they gonna laugh, they gonna talk, so what? Let them hate. They just wanna be like you anyway. They thought I would never grow up to have a voice. They thought I wouldn't make it to play pro football. They thought I wouldn't pass the high school exam when I failed four times. How many times do they gotta doubt us before they understand that anything we put our minds to, we gonna go get?